Hey everybody. So it's with much dismay to bring this video to you, but my truck's got foggy headlights, so let's look into it, shall we? Hard to see what the halo's on, but it's there. This one doesn't have any. This one has a little bit, and I threw some silica packets in there. Didn't really work. This one had the most, which doesn't make any sense. Um, so lately this one's been resealed and this one's been resealed. These are actually all new lenses completely. Uh, these ones I didn't replace the lower lenses because they're a little bit more of a pain in the ass than I really wanted to deal with at the time because we were crunching for a show and I had to get these done. These were so scratched it looked like it was foggy 24-7 so those had to you know get out of here. Um, so I guess we're going to try some YouTube fixes see if it works. Normally what happens is this happens right after a uh, right after a car wash right before a show and on my way to a show this will bubble like this. This one's always the worst. Uh, the dust caps I have for these rear projectors are bad and this is just always going to be a Chevy issue especially with these things because um, to fit a dual projector in here you really have to hack it. You need to make a, an enormous opening right here for that projector um, and you even have to cut into your radiator support so we'll go ahead and we'll pop the hood and we'll show you what it looks like in there yesterday we had like a monsoon and I went in a puddle couldn't see it, it was 4 in the morning couldn't see the puddle and this entire side got splashed and these didn't fog up until the way home yesterday these were fine yesterday at work I went to go home got home they were fine I go and check later to go uh, work on my horn blaster horns fogged fogged just can't you just can't win with this setup but you can see up here where you have to cut into it and the projector I'll pull this out I'll make it easier just pulling that pin and you lift up I normally put it in that slot right there for safekeeping we'll start with this one because this is the worst one so this will be the one that takes the most amount of time foggiest headlight I've ever seen. Um, and I'll go into why this does it. These caps, I don't know where the retrofitter got them from. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to badmouth someone's work, but I did have issues with it many times. They had to get sent back and forth about eight times. Eventually I just said screw it and I decided to do it myself. Um, but there's a demon eye in here, a demon eye in there, and then a uh, halo ring. And this cap really, really doesn't like this is how far back it comes out, and that's as good as you can get. This is super hot to the touch, actually. Um, so we got to take this dust cap off completely. Well, maybe not completely, but I'll completely take it off for the ease of this video. This feels a little wet. Um, I just think it's crazy that this is always the side that does it. It's been resealed, it's been re-lensed even. And it just does not make a lick of sense to me. Uh, we can see our issue. That's where it's getting wet from. Yeah, you can see how he had to clearance the bucket to get this to even sit in here. I'm gonna start with this water bottle. I'm gonna pour some water out for all my headlight homies out there. Probably cut about here, cut it in half. So now we have our half a bottle, a, uh, a hair dryer, your girlfriend's, your mother's. We're just gonna basically tape this up here like that. We'll funnel air through here. Now we have our moisture killer uh, T1000 here. Now we got the hair dryer going directly into the, uh, oh. it's melting it. It's melting it. Moisture eater T1000. 
2001. Yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. I think the bottle just got too melted. Yeah, this thing's cooked. All right, so maybe a different water bottle is what it takes to do the trick. And uh, definitely not cutting it as close. So I got this one. Um, it's more narrow. We'll probably fit the hair dryer I'm using much better, but it's also got this, which I thought was interesting. That's almost perfect size for that straw. So let's pour another one out for all my, uh, my Rainforest Mod homies out there. I'm gonna cut it there. Decently sized. Always use the full roll of tape. So this cap is actually perfect. And I mean perfect size for whatever kind of hose I found in the basement. <clears throat> we're going to take this and we're going to shove it through here okay let's get this on now the problem is enough air might not escape from this it's already starting to melt but it might trap more hot air in this bottle than coming out so it's probably gonna melt it quicker that's gonna be a problem No, and it's already, it's cold. I don't think this is gonna work, guys. So here's my contraption. We got a bottle on this, going into this tube, coming into here, hopefully drying it. And it's, uh, it's warm air, it's uh, not warm, it's cold air. We'll put it directly on the water, see what happens. I don't think much is gonna happen. I think this is a, uh, I'm pretty sure this myth is busted. This is just not, it's not gonna work for me. Or maybe not with this tube system. Maybe not with the tube system. Back to basics, we just got that going there. And we're still trying to get this tiny, tiny puddle out. I hope we're able to succeed. Worst case scenario, this can go in the oven. They can all go in the oven and just be baked out. I'd like to avoid doing that. I'd really like to avoid doing that. Um, a lot of people did say just drill a tiny hole down there, but I don't know how well that will work. I don't trust it. I really don't trust it. some good ambient air in there. I wonder if I put like a cap on it, you know, keep it tight, keep it airtight, if that will help burn it out more. I don't know, it's a, this is a tough cookie. I've been at this for 40 minutes and it's, uh, it's not looking good. This big boy up here, trying to drain out. All this has to come out. This is bad. I didn't expect this to be as bad as it is. As it is. This is really, really atrocious, and I'm just so pissed off with this. It's like, it happens at the most inconvenient times. I got a photo shoot tomorrow, and this is the last thing I want to be dealing with before doing that, you know? I still got this one to go over. I will update as we continue. This might be, this might be the ticket. It might have to be high heat, high speed. Have to watch up here, because this is gonna be the choke point for the air. If anything's gonna melt and collapse in on itself like it's doing as I'm saying this, it's gonna be this. Fortunately, my girlfriend loves these uh, life waters. They're, um, they're very popular nowadays. 
Um, so if you really do need to do this, uh, pick yourself up some life water. You know, it's good to recycle. This is a good way to recycle. It's a good way to breathe in those nice, fresh PFOA fumes and, uh, you know, die of, of plastic toxicity. This is going away slowly but surely. I don't know. I'm entertained just by watching this, to be honest with you. Now, I was told that you can get like a little thing that goes on an air compressor and spray it out. I have the piece, I don't have a compressor. I do not own a compressor. Anytime I use an impact, it's electric. Um, I don't really have a use for air tools at the, at the moment. So, that's where I stand on that, which is why I'm not using that tool, even though I have it. It's in my truck. Just, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty, pretty toasty. All right, so we're gonna try this one now. Uh, my daytime running light has been cut, which is fine, you don't need those, I'm not in Canada. And we're gonna try to cook this out with just one opening. Let's see what happens. So I've got most of it already, not the big stuff. It's a little bit in this corner here. So maybe you don't want the other side open. Maybe you do want it closed. Because this seems to be doing the job now. Let's see if we can see any moisture. Yeah, there's a drop there. This is a really old seal. I should I should reseal this. I probably will. Yeah, there's still moisture up in there. This should be interchangeable. Yeah, of course it isn't. Well, you know what? That might be just enough to block it. So, let's take a look-see here. Let's do a trial run. I'm feeling like no heat or any air from back here, which means it's all going in here. That should do it. So this works, you know, just not with uh, projectors. All right, so using my knife as a kickstand, I have it holding that and going directly into this. The issue is, is there's no way to test where the moisture is uh, without completely disabling this entire setup. I can feel the heat. It's definitely toasty in there. It's like a, what do the kids call it, a hot box? Yeah, it's a hot box. My knife just took a siesta. Let's turn this off. That thing's toast. It's still working. Is that enough time to do it? I doubt it. figured a more direct flow onto the actual liquid because when you put the nozzle in it's just spraying in in here like this it's not down and it's not it's not pointing to where the water is escaping to like i said the least resisting area is this corner away from everything else and on these ridges gm i was pointing in, with the camera in my hand gm put these ridges in here and it it gets stuck on those I don't see it. Really don't. So let's see what uh, the Moisture Killer 9000 has to say about this uh, big bitch. Of course, it uh, started raining. 
I, I got this one as good to go as possible. Probably gonna fog up knowing my luck. This one was fine. I figured out why this one was fogging up really bad. That's because there's one, two, three, four, five, six silica packets in it. And as soon as it gets wet, those get soaked up and it's like a sponge. Then you constantly have moisture in there. So that should dry up relatively soon, as soon as, uh, you know, things work itself out. I'm so after consideration and going through this whole uh, project, I'd say it does work and I'd recommend it. Um, it definitely burned out those other two lenses and I don't have any moisture in them right now. That other lens with the projector is a little bit of an outlier, um, but it did okay. I did burn out my roommate's uh, hair dryer, so I, need, I now need to replace his hair dryer. Um, so I guess don't keep it running for two hours straight and burn it out. But other than that, it works. So yeah, I definitely would give it a go if you're having moisture issues. Of course, a reseal and uh, just going through would be better, but sometimes you don't have the capacity to do that. Like I don't have any of, any of my tools for doing that here. So right now this is the best I could do on short notice and with a photo shoot. It is what it is and I'll be with you.